Several of you have asked me why I named this channel Twig and Feather, so I thought I'd take a minute and explain it. Um, years ago, when I was a pastor's wife, I had young girls asking me all the time about homemaking things, and I would explain how to make a roast, how to sew on a button, why it was important to create a nice atmosphere in your home, all of the above, and many more questions. <laughs> but it dawned on me that it would be nice to have one central place for those things. So I created a blog many, many years ago that is called Twig and Feather. And now this channel is a natural extension of that blog. And I thought I would give you a little visual aid. When we were up in the Okanagan last week, I found this sweet little nest that was built by some very caring little birdie parents up in our umbrella that's out on the deck of the little cabin we have there. And it's a perfect illustration for this because you see all these little sweet, sweet, sweet feathers and all these twigs. Well, I have to be careful. This one's falling apart. It's now October, so I promise you I did not steal the home out from under some birds. <laughs> but the truth is for a, a nest to be functional, it has to have twigs for structure, for stability, for strength. But if it just has twigs and little sticks, it's not gonna be very comfortable for those baby birds. So you have to also line a nest with feathers. And it's the same way with our homes. We want to have structure. We want to have the bills paid. We want the house to be clean. Maybe we wanna kinda of know ahead of time what our grocery list is. I mean, there are many functioning things about a home that aren't necessarily fun, like cleaning the toilet, but they are necessary. But at the same time, we want to create an atmosphere that is soft and cozy and inviting, a place where world-weary loved ones can come in from the storm and find a cup of tea or a cup of cocoa, maybe a slice of warm banana bread, slippers, a fire in the fireplace, plenty of candles, plenty of music, maybe a blanket, all those wonderful things. And that's what this channel is meant to be. It's meant to be an encouragement to you to build your nest one twig and one feather at a time and a place for encouragement for all of us. So some of you may have come to this channel because of freeze drying, because I did notice that when I got my freeze dryer a year ago now and started uploading videos about all my little adventures, that just took off. And I have to tell you, I have to admit, it kind of turned my head a little bit to where I thought, oh, 17,000 views on this video, maybe I should just do freeze drying. But the fact is, I like too many things about keeping a home to just focus on one. So I hope you'll indulge me if you came here for freeze drying and you'll stick around for some of the recipes or as I hope to jump into here shortly, I have about six videos in the works on herbalism because I do study that every chance I get. And I do have an apothecary, as you will see in a lot of these videos. But I have a lot of interests and a lot of things I love to do. I don't want to be tied down to one thing. So I hope you understand. And if you are also in the process of building your nest, one twig and one feather at a time, please come by often and let's encourage one another. I hope to see you back here soon and often. Don't forget to like and subscribe.